Hi everyone, it's Coach Nate here, and I'm just making this video to talk about the caloric deficit. I got my phone here, I made some points, and hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll understand a few different things about a caloric deficit. You will know, one, what is a caloric deficit? Two, how do you know if you're in a caloric deficit? Three, how long should you be in a caloric deficit? Four, should you be in a caloric deficit? And five, the benefits of being in a caloric deficit. So it's all about caloric deficit and without wasting your time, I am going to jump right into it. First question, what is a caloric deficit? Essentially, when you're in a caloric deficit, you are eating less than you normally burn or you're burning more than you normally ingest. So what does that mean? If you are eating less than you normally eat, you're in a caloric deficit. That's basically it. Anybody can be in a caloric deficit. Now the thing is you have to figure out how much are you eating first of all and write down the foods you normally eat throughout the day and uh, even on the weekends and then once you know what you normally eat, start maybe take one or two meals out. By just simply doing that, it could be a snack, it could be just taking out one banana, taking out a latte, but taking out one or two simple snacks, you can put yourself in a caloric deficit. It's just that simple. So that's it for number one. What is a caloric deficit? How do you know if you're in a caloric deficit? Very simple. The main and obvious sign of being in a caloric deficit is overall weight loss. That's how you know you're in a caloric deficit. If you are losing fit weight, if the scale says you are going down, if your clothes are shrinking, if you are hungry, you are in a caloric deficit. You should be losing weight. You should be losing. And the weight, when I'm talking about the weight, it could be fat, it could be muscle, it could be water, it's all the above. If you're in a caloric deficit, the goal, hopefully, is to lose fat, is to burn fat, not muscle. You want to preserve your muscle, you want to preserve your tissues, you don't want to lose the muscle because you work hard for it. Muscle is important for everyday life. So if you're in a caloric deficit, once again, the way you will know you're in a caloric deficit is just you will see a reduction in your overall body weight. Now, the weight is compromised of muscle tissue, fat tissue, and just water weight. But you'll see an overall reduction in the scale. So the scale is not saying you're going down. The measurements are not saying you're going down. You're probably not in a caloric deficit. Number three, how long should you be in a caloric deficit? This is a very, very good question. And honestly, it is very tough for me to give you a right answer. How long should you be in a caloric deficit? It depends on a bunch of factors. So how much fat do you have to lose? How much experience do you have with diets? You know, do you have the right support system around you? What is your goal? A lot of things go into, uh, into deciding how long you should be in a caloric deficit. Another thing that will also determine how well you're in a caloric deficit is the state of your current health. If you're a healthy individual, chances are you can probably maintain or be in a caloric deficit longer than somebody who is not very healthy. Also, another factor that may influence how long you can be in a caloric deficit is mental health. If you're struggling with your mental health, being in a caloric deficit is not going to be easy. If anything, it's going to be more stressful. If you struggle with mental health, you may not be in a caloric deficit for long, but you may not want to be in a caloric deficit for long. So these are also factors that come into play. So for this question number three, how long should you be in a caloric deficit? My answer is it depends. Now for number four, should you be in one? Should you be in a caloric deficit? If your goal is to burn fat, to lose extra body fat, to lose, you know, or maybe just want to look good for a photo shoot, then yeah, you can definitely be in a caloric deficit. I think anybody can be in a caloric deficit if they want to be, provided they have the right mindset, they have the right support systems, they know what they're doing, they've calculated what they're currently eating, they know what the current food intake is, the caloric intake, and then they reduce it safely. Basically, if everything is done right, yeah, you can be in one. So, number five the benefits of being in a caloric deficit. Well, I've already talked about weight loss. So you're going to lose a little bit of excess body weight. You're going to probably feel good about yourself. When you lose excess body fat, you know, you end up feeling good. When you feel a little bit better, your health, your overall health status improves. So you feel healthier, you look better, you feel better. Another thing is also discipline. It teaches me discipline. When I'm in a caloric deficit, I tend to be more focused. I'm more disciplined. I plan my meals ahead of time. I feel like I control, I have more control over what I'm doing. So I hope those answers were enough to help you feel a little bit more educated on what a caloric deficit is, 
why it should be in a caloric deficit, you know, what people are talking about when they're talking about a caloric deficit, um, how long it should be in a caloric deficit, the benefits of a caloric deficit. If you have any questions, you found this useful, please share it with your friends and comment and let me know what else you'd want to hear about. Or maybe you don't want to post it in the comments, send me a message. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Coach Nate, out.